Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I give you praise right now, God. I give you honor and glory, Lord, right now for this word, God, that you have given me, Lord, to go forth today, Lord. God, I worship you and I praise you for who you are, God. I thank you, Lord. You are worthy of the praise, Lord. Oh, God, I praise you, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you, if you can, to share this, this, um, this video. I want you to, um, to share and get some followers on here because I have a word from the Lord today that I think will help you, praise God, that will uh, help you to see the will and the mind of God today. If we ever needed the mind and the heart of God today, we need it now. We need it now more than ever, praise God. The church is in such a state of apostasy. There, and what apostasy, let me explain to you what apostasy means. I have the definition right here. Let me just read it so I can make sure I get it right, praise God. <clears throat> the word apostasy means... It's the rejection of Christianity. And, and you know, we expect these things out in the world. But this is not talking about the world. This is talking about in the church of God. The church of the living God. There is apostasy going on. And that's where somebody was formerly real. Formerly a real Christian. Formerly on fire for God in the things of God. But they turned away. And they they turned from following after him. And they, they just live a lie. They're not living in the power and authority and the relationship with the Lord like they once did. So they turn aside. And then the church is in apostasy. Uh, because they're turning away from the things of God and not even allowing God in his own house. Praise God. And you know, um, in this day and hour, we uh, need to hear from God. We need a word from the Lord. And <clears throat> praise God, I, I was in my room and I was on my face on the floor. And I was crying out for God, for a spirit of intercession for his people. And a spirit of intercession and a burden from his heart for the church. The church is in a critical state. You know, we can talk about our good services and running the aisle and jumping and shouting, but the truth is that the church is in a terrible state. And you know, God is raising up today, praise God, some Josiahs and some Asahs and some Nehemiahs, praise God, and some Hezekiahs, praise God. And you know, he is, uh, you, sometimes we think, God, well, we can just pray and God's going to come down and fix it. But friends, today let me tell you, God has chosen to use men and women. That is how he works. He works through men and women that are called into the fivefold ministry to go forth and set his house in order. And if we do not set his house in order, then his house is out of order like we see it is today. We see that people have filled the houses of God with so many different things trying to appease the people, trying to keep the people, but the they're just like Samson, they knew not that the Spirit of God had departed from them, praise God. But God in this hour is raising up some Josiahs and some men and women that will be grieved about the state that the house of the Lord and His people are in. And that will seek His face and seek His heartbeat and do something about it, praise God. Nehemiah had a man come to him from the city of Jerusalem and he asked about the affairs of Jerusalem and they told him the house has been torn down the wall has been broken and the city is in 
disarray. Praise God. And it grieved Nehemiah. Nehemiah had a cushy job. He had a, a job that was before the king. He was in the presence of the king. He had a status. Praise God. But the affairs of the house of Jerusalem grieved his heart. God is looking for someone that will be grieved in their heart about the things of, that's going on in the house of God and his people. And that will, <clears throat> the word of God tells us that Nehemiah began to fast and pray and weep before God and ask God to intervene, praise God. And God gave Nehemiah the authority to go and everything he needed to restore the house of the Lord. Praise God. And you know what? God will give us what he need, what, what we need to restore the house of God. There are people in an authority and God has given you a position to take a hold of the things that pertain to the house of God. But first let me tell you there has to be a tearing down. Praise God. Just like Josiah and Asa and Hezekiah before they could rebuild the things of the Lord they had to do some tearing down they had to tear down and stamp those idols they had to tear down the false so that the true could be erected praise God they had to go in and destroy those idols and take those filthy things out of the house of God praise God before there could ever be a restoring you know, we want the gift of the Spirit. We want the fruits of the Spirit. We want to see miracles, signs, and wonders. We want the Spirit of prophecy to reign in the house of God. But I tell you, they will not come unless we tear down those things that we ourselves have allowed into the house of God and that we tear them down and repent. There has to be a condition in your heart where that you realize that 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 the things that we have allowed in the house of God is not pleasing, they're grieving, and that's why we do not see the power of God in our churches. Because there has to come a tearing down of those things that are false. There has to be a repentance. There has to be a cry made. Somebody has to let that burden get upon them until there's a cry made and repentance made. I notice most of the men of God that interceded for the city and for Jerusalem, they said, we and our fathers have sinned. They didn't place it on somebody else, but they acknowledged that it was in their power that they allowed these things to come to pass. And when we come to that realization and we repent and we rise up and let it grieve us and we tear down the things that's not of God, then the house of God will be restored. Then sons and daughters will be born into to the kingdom. Then the fruits and the gifts of the Spirit will come into the house of God once again. Then the anointing will be in the house of God and His glory will be in the house of God. But in not until we stand and make a change. And this has to be done in an individual's life before it can be done in authority in the church. <laughs> You can't come and take an authority in the church if God has not given you authority there. But He has given you authority in you. He has given you authority over this temple, praise God. This temple that we carry the Holy Ghost in. And in the tearing down and repentance has to begin in us. And then when it begins in us and we can take down those things that are not alike, like God, then he will give us authority to do the things in the ministry that he has called us to do. Praise God. God is looking for some intercessors. Some, some people that will allow his heart and allow his mind to become yours and be grieved about the things of God. That's what God's looking for today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, give us a heart of intersection. Oh, God, help us to see, Lord God, that you have given us power and authority over these things, Lord God. And help us to be grieved. Help us to be burdened for the state of the church, for the state of your people, God. Oh, God, help us to cry out, God, in your precious 
precious name we need you, Lord. Lord, we can't do one thing without you, Lord. But God, with your strength and your help, God, we can make a difference, Lord. Oh, God, help us to make a difference, Lord. In the name of Jesus, this world is groaning. This world, the church world, is groaning for the real in God. And I don't know about you, but I am not going to settle for the false. I'm not going to settle for an imitation. I want the real in God, but there's a price attached to it. It's going to cost you your all. But oh, hallelujah, to walk in His power and anointing and the demonstration, praise God, of His Word. There is nothing like it, praise God. Cry out, Hayada Bosianda, Eco Yanda Yada Bosiatai, Yoloko Siki Yanda Yada Bosiata. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, God, our Bosiata. Oh, touch us, Lord. Oh, give us your mind. <coughs> Praise God. Give us your heart, Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. We we need you, Lord. Oh, Kayana, Hayana, Bo, Sikiana, Yano, Kosiana. My people hear my voice, Hayana, Kosiana. I have called you to stand. I have called you, Lord, Hara, Bo, I have called you to a place in me, Hayana, Bo, A place where I can use you. Uh, come before me with fasting and prayer. Come before me weeping, Hayada Bosi. And I will give you the spirit of intercession, Hayada Kosiana. Hayada Bosiana. Hayala Kosiana. That the things in my house might be restored. Hayala Bosi Kiana. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I yala ko siyata. I yanda yala ko siyata. I yala ko siyata. Be grieved for what you see. Ah, be grieved to the point that you do something about it. Ah, yanda yala ko siyata. I have called you aside for my purpose. Arise, arise, my people. Hayada Bosikiana. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. I receive your word, God. Hayada Bosikiana. Oh, God, help us to cry out. Oh, send us, Lord, to restore your house. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, grieve our heart for what grieves yours, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Oh, I thank you, Lord. We have got to be about his business. We have got to be about the business of the kingdom of God. Lord, let your kingdom come alive in us, Lord. Oh, Karabu Siandahai. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Let your kingdom come, that your will be done. The gates of hell shall not prevail against your church, Lord. Oh, Kayanda Hayara Bosia. Hiyanda Hayala Kosi. Oh, I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, rise up. Rise up and let him use you. He's looking for someone that will make themselves available. Oh, he's calling you. Don't ignore the call. He is calling us to do something. 
And he has given us power and authority to use his name to do it. Glory, hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Share this video. Share it. Praise God. Oh, that the word of the Lord be magnified, that he get the glory, that sons and daughters will arise in the name of Jesus.